complaining of pain. Breast cancer almost never causes pain unless it's growing into the muscles or the bone, which is very unusual in Los Angeles. So most women who come in with pain do not have cancer unless it's incidental, that pain is caused by something else and they have a cancer. When you examine her, you find a 1.5 by 2 centimeter breast mass on the left side. She never had hormone replacement therapy. Postmenopausal hormones increase the likelihood of breast cancer. So if you're taking hormones after the menopause, you must ask your doctor, why am I taking these? If you're taking them because you believe they'll keep you young, do something else. They don't keep you young, I promise you, I'd be taking them. But they do give you breast cancer, so don't take them unless you have to. No family history, no medical problems, so she's a healthy seven-year-old woman. She should be treated for cure. Next slide. This is her mammogram, and you can see this cancer. It's that white, bright white spot. Next slide. Again, we did an ultrasound and a needle biopsy, and again, it's poorly differentiated cancer. Poorly differentiated, looks wild to the pathologist, looks wild, behaves wild, likely to spread, more likely to spread than well differentiated. Next slide. We did a central node biopsy and it was negative. So like every other patient I have, they come in, my lymph node's negative, I don't need chemotherapy. Thank you, Dr. Giuliano. Not true. Her tumor looked wild, so I know that's a bad sign. She doesn't need to have her lymph nodes removed. She doesn't need more surgery, but she's going to need some other treatment. Next slide. Next one, please. So if she's in early breast cancer, a T1, N0 means not in the lymph nodes. But when you look at her tumor markers, she doesn't have the estrogen receptor, so you can't use tamoxifen. She doesn't have the progesterone receptor, you can't use anti-hormones, and she doesn't have her too new, so you can't use her septin. The only treatment you can use to go throughout her body in case it's spread is chemotherapy. So this woman had negative lymph nodes and still needs chemotherapy because it may have spread throughout her body. We always give lumpectomy radiation, but she can't get the hormonal therapy, tamoxifen, aromacin, arimidex, because she doesn't have the target the estrogen receptor on her cancer cell. Next slide. One final word, and that's about DCIS. DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ. This is a frightening term. Patients go, oh my God, I've got cancer. It's not really cancer. It's the earliest form. It lacks the ability to spread. It's stuck inside the duct, so it can't spread. It can't kill you. The survival is 100%. No one dies from DCIS. It's the earliest form of breast cancer. It should not be frightening. This is why we do mammograms. <coughs> this is what you want to find on your mammogram. You can't feel it. It's only seen on the mammogram. Next slide. So, to sum up, the treatment of breast cancer has become less radical, less deforming, more effective, more gentle, more kind to the patient. The patients feel better about themselves. They don't feel mutilated or frightened. Sentinel lymph node biopsy has radically altered the way we manage lymph nodes and can eliminate that arm pain and swelling. There are new mastectomy techniques, including nipple preservation techniques that leave the breast looking almost normal. And you can do breast reconstruction on almost everyone. So it's a, not a disease that should frighten you. You should not be afraid of it if you get it. We can win if you get it. We can beat this disease. Next slide. Next one. Survival has improved. Survival depends on stage. 100% for DCIS, 90% for stage one. Stage depends on early detection. So if Dr. Sadler said you can show one slide that you'd like everyone to remember about breast cancer, it's be the next slide, please. You can save your life by getting a mammogram. Find that cancer early, the survival can be 100%. If it's stage one, it can be 90%. You can be cured. A mammogram can save your life. So if you remember one thing, if you don't remember how to treat all those patients, that's okay. But remember this. Thank you very much for having me.